Hey guys, this monster right here is called the Hawk Crawler. I picked it up at Field and Stream, which is part of Dick's Sporting Goods down here in the south, for $160 with tax. It's pretty great. Uh, it's full wheel, as you can see. 500 pounds it's rated for. Comes with this handle. And it squeaks a little bit. Thing I had to look at is good, you know, how am I going to attach it to my bike? So, I'm not really sure I like this handle this much. It's got two of these thumb screws in here, and that's all it has in it. It's kind of just got a, oh, let's get a little close up here. It kind of just has a wedge that these two pipes go into. Let me grab the camera and I'll show you what I'm talking about pipe as you you can see the thumb screw here you see how these two pipes are just kind of folded over each other there's nothing else in there and I was worried with 500 pound rating you know what keeps this handle from just flipping over so that was an interesting thing but all in all the cart is built like a hoss it's a tank it's got some really good tires on it. I actually looked at building my own four wheel and for the price I bought this, I couldn't, you know, the four tires were almost the same price as, the, as the, this whole cart. So it's got a really nice uh, liner in here. It's kind of like a plastic uh, wet mesh. It's pretty strong, but it's built really well. Now I did put a couple pins here. You can see this pin I put in here. It did have the single, so it will fold up. So if I pull these pins out, let me do it real quick. So with these pins, with these pins pulled out, this will fold up. And the design of this handle is, is to fold up also. So let's look at that real quick. So with it loose, you can fold it up like that. I'm going to put together what I came up with and uh, see what you think. Okay, here we are all assembled. You can see I added a couple ammo boxes. Thought it'd be pretty handy to have have these on here. I had the space, trying to make it less ugly. Uh, just bungee these in. I built some little little frames for them here. So in the ammo box, like this ammo box, I have my my kryptonite lock that I use when I'm hunting public land and need to lock the bike up. Uh, this one here, I have some ratchet straps and things like that that you can use to strap an animal or gear or whatever down to the game cart itself. You know, I wanted this cart mostly because I hunt private property most of the time, most of the year. It's uh, Chuck's property, Chuck Pinto Hog Ranch down there in South Georgia. So I really don't, it, you know, we have fixed ladder stands and things like that. So I don't really need to carry my tree stand in and, and use this bike attachment uh, for my Sherpa cart that much down there. This is more for my New York hunting trip or some of the areas I hunt in North Georgia, which are public. So this cart is going to be perfect for me down there because I can leave it assembled. I can leave it on the bike and just ride around with it like that. I don't have to worry about carrying my tree stand in all the time. So pretty excited about that. One of the things that I'm probably going to mess with is this pivot point right here. I'm not real excited about how, how much lean I'm getting. I might just have to make it a little bit of tighter pivot point. I've got maybe a little too loose right now. If you look at the Sherpa rack, you know, it's, it's a lot closer to the, the hitch than this one is, obviously. So. I'm just getting a little bit too much. If you look in the camera, you can see how close it is to the Hemingway rack. It doesn't quite hit, but it's, it's close enough where it it's, gets a little bit more weight on there. It's probably going to rub a little bit. I do like I can still use my same quick disconnect hitch. 
that I use on a Sherpa, that I can use on that on the Hawk. So if you keep watching, I hope you do, you're going to see me, I'm going to have 160 pounds of salt and I'm going to ride around some of the rougher spots of the property, you got some small hills and things like that, and let you check out how the cart handles, how the bike handles it, uh, thanks to Jacob, my son, for filming it for me, so, alright, check it out.